Hello everyone. Now I'm starting a series which is about the ultimate guide to prepare for the various product based companies all over India. And I'm going to cover some of the major companies that are present. For example, companies like Amazon, Flipkart, and we have Adobe, and we have VMware, etc. etc. There are so many companies that, that are present. Uh, which are the best companies all over India, which is having the best work culture and so on. Now, in this series of videos, I'm going to give you a brief introduction about every single company. Let us say, I'm going to discuss about Amazon. Then it will be an ultimate guide to land a job at Amazon. And the same way, ultimate guide to land a job at Adobe. So, I'm going to discuss about that particular organization. A part of this, I'm also going to discuss about what is the eligibility criteria if you want to, let us say you want to get selected into Amazon or you want to get a job at Adobe, then what will be the eligibility criteria so that you can apply for that particular job? What will be the screening process? Let us say you send a resume, then how will they select your resume? And their selection rounds, for example, some of the companies are having four to five selection rounds. Some of them are having even 10 to 15 selection rounds in extreme cases. Then we'll be discussing about what will be their selection round, what will be their interview process and the technologies that you should know before you going you are going for the interview because that can be a technical interview as well as, well as that can be non-technical interviews. For example, in certain cases, they may be asking you to have a knowledge of some of the object-oriented programming languages or some specific technologies that may help you to get a job in those companies. A part of this, I'm also going to discuss about uh, in their rounds that uh, what are the coding rounds they're going to have, what is the kind of questions they're going to ask you for those coding rounds and from where can you get those questions or how can you practice for the coding rounds of these companies. Let us say Amazon, what is the coding round or what kind of coding round they are going to have because generally in these companies, coding round is a compulsory now round. It is a non-negotiable round for any candidate. You can, they can have some kind of negotiations related to, you know, they can adjust some, some somewhere in, in your interviews if you may be lacking behind in interviews or you may be lacking behind in some of the areas, but they cannot do any kind of, you know, negotiations in terms of coding round because generally it is an online round which happens completely automated uh, in their entire you know selection process and apart of this what are the profiles that are available for the freshers and what are the salaries and perks that you are going to get what will be the work culture and if you get selected into a certain profile for example there are four to five different profiles that are available if you get selected in a certain profile then what will be your career growth how you are going to grow, whether it is a linear career growth, whether it is exponential career growth, what are the future opportunities for you and what are the learnings that you are going to get. And after that, what, what will be a typical day for an engineer in that particular company. Now for this, I'm going to create a playlist here on my YouTube channel, which will be about ultimate guide to land a job at a product based company. Uh, you can just subscribe to the channel and you can also follow that particular play playlist because every day I'm going to discuss about one single company. And I'm going to discuss and give you all the details about the selection process, how you should study, from where you can get the content to study, and what will be your method of preparation. Everything I'm going to discuss so that you don't have to go anywhere else uh, to know all these things. Okay. And if you have any suggestions and comments, just let me know in the comment box. But make sure that your suggestions should be productive. They should not be destructive. There are two kind of people. Uh, the people give two kinds of suggestions. One is just for fun purposes or destructive comments, and second was the productive comments, where which really helps us to improve our quality of teaching. So if you have any suggestions, just let us know and just follow this series. Um, it will really help you out for your. Uh, interview preparation for these companies okay thank you so much